Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a uh, hobby versus a uh, job as for Magic the Gathering. Um, and this is a really relatively recent discussion because um, previously everyone was just treating as a hobby because you really going to make money as... And I'm going to talk about YouTube and Twitch. So if you compare it to League of Legends, you do have some League of Legends players who make enough from their streams and their YouTube that they can make you know, a living just from that. Um, same with Hearthstone. But for the longest time, Magic YouTubing and Magic on Twitch, so I'll only focus on YouTube because I don't, I'm not on Twitch anyway. Uh, there, it wasn't, there was not the concept that you can make a living, a core living from it. But now with, you know, some other people jumping in, um, Telerian being a really big name, it actually can be a living. And that's going to add fascinating elements to it. And before I break down, you know, what are your sources of incomes and, you know, what um, other opportunities exist on YouTube that did not exist and why you should make a channel, I'll tell you exactly what I'm filming on. I'm filming on the Sony, I think it's the 4. Uh, it's 4K video. I'll probably have a description below and I have lighting and um, it's, we have advanced a lot since the first videos, right? The camera is a lot better, the lighting, we have lighting as opposed to not having light, lighting. Um, and then, you know, it, it's, we're growing and we are adapting to whatever other YouTubers are doing. And so we don't want to be left behind. Our editing is a little somewhat better. Um, we have lots of amazing artwork from our great artists that we pay. And so the YouTube, there's many streams of revenue. Um, you have the YouTube ad. So whenever you post to the YouTube, you can choose not to have ads. And on my other channel, I didn't have ads. I didn't have ads on this channel for a very long period of time. And your ad revenue that's generated gets paid to you monthly by Google. Um, it's a considerable amount. It's not um, a non, it's a, essentially you can buy a few booster boxes with that amount. Um, even on my channel, for the bigger channels, I'm sure that they make considerably more. If you join a network, you make, I think five to six times more um, according to what the networks have been saying to me, are up to 10 to 12 times more. So that's one source of revenue, ad revenue. Um, the other source of revenue would be sponsorships. Um, a lot of people do sponsorships. Uh, my personal opinion about sponsorships is I would do it if I'm actually going to use it. Uh, if I don't use it, so I actually just printed from Ink Playmats, which I'll show you my beautiful Azula Playmat sometime soon. If I don't use it, I'm not going to sponsor it. I'm not going to accept money for it. And that's just because um, I, I think it's kind of uh, that type of video. What, it, it's good for the community because it grows the community and gets more encourages more people to spend time building better videos. But at the same time, I've always felt eh, it's not unless the community, unless that sponsorship, whoever I'm sponsoring aligns perfectly with what I would use like on Instagram, <laughs> then I'm not going to do this. But that's a, another very large source of income that can be generated from these sponsorships. And I've seen how much that could be um, from the Pico Trade incident. Uh, so the other piece of um, is Patreon, obviously the donations from Patreon and a lot of, there, there's quite a bit of money on Patreon for MTG YouTubers. Again, when we first started, when I first started, there was no way I would have imagined um, my Patreon would be as large as it currently is. Uh, obviously, it helps that we give, you know, cool stuff away. But yeah, it just seems like when we first, when we, I first started, it was kind of looked down upon to ask for donations, to ask for things of that nature. Um, and now it's not because every single larger YouTube channel has a Patreon and they collect donations, and that is another source of income. So I want to encourage the if you're interested in having a YouTube channel, maybe you have a YouTube channel and you're trying to grow it, I want to encourage you to look at these sources of income, see if you can um, have one of those and then make better product. Buy a better camera, buy some light, like use, take the money that you would be making from the YouTube and then spend it on YouTube again. And that's how the channel grows. So I know it's a very touchy subject because you know whenever you talk about Patreon people get upset. Uh, I can honestly tell you my Patreon, uh, we are, we lose money mainly from artwork and um, 
deliverables. I found out it's $35 to ship a fat pack to Australia, but luckily we got that taken care of. Um, and you know, just, it's fascinating because when we, I first started, there was no way I could have imagined uh, the landscape looks like today uh, in terms of revenue sources. And eventually maybe we'll have some bigger sponsorships or maybe we'll have, um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to think. Cause like uh, League of Legends has some like um, Intel and very large sponsorships and maybe that's what YouTube becomes, but who knows? Anyway, bye guys.